Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Karen Stock. I'm from Walsh University in North Canton, Ohio. And thank you for being here today. Thank you, Carlos. So my name is Giuliano Scarsi. I'm Italian. I'm living here in Lyon. I've been teaching uh, this class now for, this is the fourth semester already. Hello, everybody. My name is Luan Gomez, and I am from the Bahamas. So CFAM is a Franco-American business university. Here at CFAM, we are all required to take the same amount of courses up until our senior year. And then that is when we get to choose our majors, either to go to the US or to stay in France. Hi, guys, I'm Daphne, and I'm Turkish and American. So now I'm going to move on to presenting our campus. Uh, to begin with, CFAM is a member of the HEP campus, which is located in Lyon, France, at the heart of Gorge Loup. The HEP campus, Lyon Rene Cassin, which first opened its doors in 2004, brings together the region's widest range of schools and training facilities, including 13 fields of professional skills. Currently, it accommodates 7,500 students from 23 schools and training centers. In this class, with a large diversity of people coming from France, Turkey, America, the Bahamas, Algeria, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria. So, hello, I'm Enzo. Uh, I was born in Lyon and I'm going to talk about it. So, Lyon is a French municipality that's located in the southeast of France at the confluence of the Rhone and the Saône rivers. Uh, the metropolis of Lyon uh, with a surface area of uh, 14 uh, square kilometers, 48 square kilometers, is home to 519,000 inhabitants and about 1.6 million, including its agglomeration. Uh, parks, gardens, green spaces, uh, caves, each district has a uh, preserve, uh, preserved natural spaces where it's pleasant to walk, cycle, relax, read or chat uh, along the rivers. There's banks that are laid out as long as as long promenades that link the Parc de la Tête d'Or to Parc de Jardin. Uh, the banks of the Seine offer a pleasant pedestrian route punctuated by works of contemporary art. Uh, Lyon cares about the quality of, li of its living environment and was, wants to remain pleasant for future generations. Therefore, all its major projects such as the Verge, uh, the Confluence District, District, the Banks of the Stone, and others are designed in accordance with the uh, sustainable development. Everything contributes to putting people at the heart of the city's development and to preserving the environment. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Eirik Buman and I'm from Norway. We all study at Walsh University. So, as you can see on the map, North Canton is located uh, on the northeast corner of Ohio, just below Lake Erie. It's around 45 miles outside the city of Cleveland. Cleveland is one of the bigger cities in Ohio. Uh, the current population of North Canton is 17,026. So, if North Canton is a fairly small city in the United States. Uh, a little bit about Ohio, the state. Uh, it's surrounded on four sides by the states of Indiana, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, West Virginia, and Michigan, as well as Lake Erie. And Lake Erie is actually the 11th largest lake in the world. The Walsh campus size is 143 acres, or 58 hectare, meaning that students that do not commute can walk to class without using any source of transportation because the farthest building, the farthest building is about a 10 minute walk. And now moving on to kind of the areas surrounding Walsh. There, if you look at the picture that is on there on the right, uh, there's a storefront that's kind of like a mall strip across the street that has like Giant Eagle, which is a grocery store, a post office, or like a uh, medical building. If someone gets hurt, they can go over there. And looking at the picture, you can kind of compare the size of that strip. It's called Washington Square. You can compare that to our campus size. And as you can see, it's, their campus is not a very big campus. And finally, we are going to talk about uh, the footprint. So, so here are the results of the ecological footprint of our class. Uh, the blue circles you see are the number, uh, the number of, uh, of planets needed if everyone lived uh, as we do. And so the minimum is two and the maximum is five planets. So the class average is about 30.6 planets. 
uh, you will notice that it's not very high. The most important factors are the fact that uh, the majority of us live in uh, small apartments and uh, and to go around the city, we use uh, the, the TCL, uh, which is very well served as uh, we saw uh, before, as it was explained before. Uh, on the other hand, there are a lot of foreign students, which means that they <laughs> like they like they travel a lot, uh, mostly like for long distances. And then uh, I'm also just going to talk about our carbon footprint. I believe we use this similar uh, website or uh, way of uh, calculating this as your guys' class. Um, we just didn't do it at such a large scale. Um, me and a group member named Ernest, uh, we did our own personal carbon footprints. Um, and uh, our personal earth overshoot is uh, the 31st of March. And if everyone lived like us, we would need about four Earths. Um, this just has to do by us eating a lot of meat, living in dorms or smaller apartments, and uh, typically driving cars everywhere we go.